many parents are concerned about ADHD. They don't want to put their children on Ritalin. How can that be prevented? So to begin with, the prevention of ADHD um, really begins with healthy prenatal care and healthy infancy, um, mm -hmm. which would certainly include you know, um, a healthy diet for the mother during pregnancy, omega-3 fatty acid supplementation, which is needed for optimal brain development. It's actually been shown that uh, omega-3 fatty acid component um, in their blood are um, uh, that their children are actually smarter. They so smarter. on average, yes. <laughs> okay. On average, you will have a smarter child if you take omega-3 fatty acids all right. while you're pregnant. That's all we so, need to hear. <laughs> so there you go. So that's the first step mm -hmm. um, is healthy develop brain development in the womb. All right. Continuing healthy development um, in infancy. So that would include breastfeeding. Again, a nutritious diet because the nutrition that the baby receives is going to be the nutrition the mother eats. So healthy diet for the mom, healthy um, nutrients for the baby, um, including, you know, continuing with the omega-3 fatty acid supplementation in the mother throughout breastfeeding. Um, and then into childhood, um, not exposing your children to a lot of heavily pesticided foods, okay. artificial colors, artificial ingredients hmm. is going to be the next key. Another component is intestinal health. Our intestines actually produce more neurotransmitters than our brain. The nervous system in our, that runs along our intestines produces more neurotransmitters than our brain. So our intestinal health is incredibly important in our overall health, mm -hmm. our, mental, our mental function and well-being as well. And uh, one of the components of intestinal health is uh, a, a healthy um, population of flora. Mm -hmm. Our gut is actually populated with more little microorganisms than there are cells in our body. It's living right inside of us. So things like antibiotics can be a problem because they kill off that population. And then you have the potential for repopulation with the right, wrong sorts of, mm -hmm. of, of uh, microorganisms. cause inflammation and then lead to poor neurotransmitter um, function and, and production. So, um, you know, making sure that if your child does need to use an antibiotic, that mm -hmm. you're eating um, good cultured products such as yogurts mm -hmm. and replacing those flora with probiotic supplements mm -hmm. can be very helpful. Um, so these suggestions can help prevent it. Mm -hmm. These suggestions can help prevent it. And they're also a starting point for treatment. So typically when I see a child with ADHD, um, I'm going to ask about history of antibiotic use, okay. um, diet, uh, and um, about their symptoms, their GI symptoms, mm -hmm. um, because that is so important in uh, preventing and treating ADHD. That's one starting point that I'll often approach treatment from. Well, thank you for that explanation. You're welcome.